So hello everyone and welcome to Electronic Technocrat. We are very happy to announce that we have another guest collaborator who will be sharing his most valuable knowledge with us on our YouTube channel. I am very obliged about our guest collaborator because he will be introducing to us a brand new series that is titled as Java Programming Language Series. You heard it correct. Java Programming Language Series. He will be telling us everything about the concepts of Java, the core of Java, some real good questionnaires for us so that we understand the topic very, very nicely and also sharing his valuable time, his valuable knowledge with us about the Java concepts. That's correct. So tighten your seatbelts and get ready for another roller coaster of a series. So in the next clip, you will be hearing him introducing himself and about his concepts and his upcoming series. So, without wasting any time, let's begin. Firstly, thank you very much, Ninan, for sharing your space. Yeah, so hello everyone, Namaste, Adap, Sasriyakal, I am Vaibho Sait, welcome you all in Electronics Technocat family. So here, you will be learning all about Java. We'll start from basics like how to write simple Java program. I will share my tips and tricks that just at looking at program, how to find whether program is logically correct or not. Programming language are not at all difficult if your basics are strong. After watching my videos, I will ensure you that you will be in a position to write and decode program easily and smartly. Uh, also, we'll learn what are the loopholes in every topic of Java. I will start from scratch and then we'll move to the advanced topic too. So, without any further delay, let's get started. Now, I'm sure you guys must be wondering who is this man? Do you know who implemented Java? The great man, Mr. James Gosling. He is this man. This history of Java started with Green Team. They started to develop a language for digital devices such as set-up box, television, etc. To develop a language was used project initiated by James Gosling, Patrick and Mike Shadden in June 1991. Previously, Java was popular by GreenTop and file extension was .gt. After that, it was called as Oak. Then, in 1995, it was renamed again by Java due to some trademark issues by Oak Technologies. If I am not wrong, then on 23rd Jan 1996, JDK 1.0 version release. For more and detailed information of history of Java, just go to Chrome and type history of Java. I will provide link in description, so just have a glance. History of Java. So guys, as a beginner to write a code, we'll use Notepad++. If you take my suggestion, then no need to use Eclipse or any other platform. Now you will ask why, right? Because they do some auto correction and compensate your error. And I think a good programmer is always a good debugger. Yes, a good programmer is always a good debugger. So we will write code in Notepad++ and compile using CMD so that if you hit, we get any error, then we'll, we should be in a position to solve manually. Once we get grip on it, then we'll use other platform, but at initial level, not required. Is aaj ke liye itna hi? Are nahi? Let's explore something more. So let me show you one simple hello world program. Don't worry about this. We'll learn in detail. So let's compile this program. So for that, we have to write Java C. Why? that all we learn in detail. So don't worry about this. So let me run this program. So it is showing hello world. So you might be knowing to compile the program. We have to write Java compiler. That's we have to call Java compiler. And to run, we have to write Java as a command. So it is, don't you think it is too boring? Isn't it? It is too boring, no? Don't worry. I will share you one shortcut tip with you. But for that, you have to keep patience. 
so guys let's take a simple example but before that let me show you which version of java i am using so for that command is java c space hyphen version let just hit enter so i am using java 1.8 version so let me give you one simple program don't worry about this like this is a simple program so now what will be the output whether this program will compile without any error or we will get some compile time error think 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 for at least 10 second have you got answer yes no okay no worries i will give you hint first if you compile this for loop only this for loop using c compiler then it will compile it won't throw any error but if you compile this program using java compiler then it will throw compile time error now question arises why right you will say sir c compiler compiles this program then why java compiler throws an error because there is a reason that's all we'll learn in loop concept so don't worry about this was just a demo i will show you n number of examples to amaze you because i know you are thinking you know everything but after you watch my videos definitely you will say that this was i don't know so let's take some second example if you know this then this is the entry point for jvm so what if i change the position of this public or this static or this void or mean why to write this void why all are these in small letter can we write in capital if yes then how if not then why why are the argument this argument is string type only what is the reason see guys everything has a logic i know very few, few people will tell you see if you go anywhere any interview room any place no one will ask you that hey write the code for google or facebook backend no they just check your basics how strong it is and that how strong you are and that all basics will learn here not only basic but just advanced part 2 many students often having doubts that which is the best programming language to start or to learn shall i learn java or c or shall i start with python well i would say it depends upon many factors like popularity if you talk about popularity then obviously java outsource everyone even c which is there almost for 50 years if i say in terms of job opportunity then again java outsource everyone you can get tons of job opportunity by learning java programming language and it is not only my point of view it is about research what i did on internet learn java there are some students who learn c so they feel that why to learn new programming language java right the of reasons like security we cannot develop web application or internet application by using c but in java we can develop java provides support for exception handling support for garbage collection blah 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 so that's all about the introduction from from next class we'll start from the basics thank you hey you yes you if you like our video just hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to stay notified for the future updates